other shoe addicts and shoe fiends. It's your girl D, the shoe boss, and we are here for episode two of my Sunday shoes. I am super duper uber excited. I don't know why I'm just extra hyped today. Excuse my hypeness. Anyway, so today on episode two, we are talking about my worst shoe mistakes purchases ever. Now, I would have had like probably like 10 in this video, but before I decided to do a shoe blog, a shoe vlog, I actually threw away most of my shoe mistakes. I did end up keeping a few and I don't really know how that ended up happening, but it's good because now I'm able to do this video. So, there will be two parts, not because I have that many, but because um, there are a few and I don't want to make this vlog too long or this episode too long. I'm going to try and do some pros and cons, but because they're mistakes, there probably will be more cons than actual, like, pros. That's what it is. So let's just get right into this lovely, exciting video of mistakes, because that's exactly what this is. Mistakes. I'm just so disappointed in myself. Like... This has to be when I was still trying to find myself as a person, as an adult, as a shoe fiend. Like, I think that I was just really exploring options. Well, one of these shoes, I already know. I don't know why I even brought them. Like, there's no excuse. That's what it is. There's no excuse for why I brought half of these shoes. So, uh, y'all gonna be like, bro. Really, D, this is what you decided to buy? Right, listen. Let's get into these mistakes. All right, y'all. So the first shoe I'm going to get into is this red shoe from Rue 21. Now, the heel is five and a half inches. The platform is one inch. The size is 10. But I should have known something was wrong when I looked at the size and the size was extra large. Who... Like, who sizes a shoe by extra large? Like, this is not a this is not a shirt. Extra large for no, there needs to be numbers. So I mean they numbered it extra large 10, but then you get to the smaller sizes and it's large eight to nine. That's not even the same size, like eight to nine. I should have known something was wrong. But anyway, so I brought the shoe. Why? I don't know. I probably got these for about probably about like $15. I'm gonna tell you what I like about the shoe. The color. I like red. Favorite color is red. So I like the fact that it was red. Maybe that's why I bought it, because it, it cause it's red. So I'm like, oh I gotta buy it. It's red. Yes. Maybe. I don't know. So it's red. Great. That's the one thing that I like about it. What I don't like, okay, first of all, let's get to this part of the shoe. The fact that the front of the shoe is round. I don't have a problem with a round front of the shoe. The fact the fact of the matter is, do you see how small this is? Like, somehow your toes are supposed to just comfortably fit in this part of the shoe. No, not at all. So, I wore this shoe once. That's it. I wore it. When I tried it on, it fit like, like, like they always do. I tried it on, it fit. I wore it. My feet hurt in 2.5 seconds. Like, my toes had no room to breathe. Then, like, you're, it's like you're walking in the shoe and the shoe is pushing against your toes. Why is that even an option? Like, why did that happen? So, I was upset. And I shouldn't have never brought these shoes from Route 21. So with that being said, I will not buy shoes from Rue 21. And the brand of the shoe is the Rue 21, etc. brand. So, no, just I will not buy another shoe from Rue 21. Unless they change their shoe size and the shoes are actually sized by numbers and not extra large, large, small, extra small. No. Like, and if, unless they find a way to make more room in the shoe where you can actually wear the shoe and not just wear it for two and five seconds, maybe they, they changed their shoes and now their shoes are comfortable. Y'all let me know. If y'all brought shoes from Rue 21 and you had no problems, let me know. I have no problem with maybe I just had one bad experience, but I'm, I just can't do it. I'm not buying another pair of shoes unless their whole shoe 
production is totally different now. I just, I'm not doing it. So that's that. This shoe is not even a heel, it's a flat. So, yes, I do really wear flats. So I try to find cute flats because I don't like flats. Yeah, I got them from Kmart. And they're cute, like pointed toe, studded. Real cute. I thought they were really cute. This, I this was comfortable in the store, no problem. But it was a little tight. And the only reason why I brought it was because I figured it's a flat. It's going to at least, you know, you stretch it out, you know, wear it a couple times and you'll be fine. So that's what I did. I, I wore it a couple times and it hurt. And I was like, you know what? Maybe it's just me. One of my great friends brought the same exact shoe. She had the same exact problem. So guess what, guys? It's not me. It's Kmart. How, why does the flat hurt? You buy flat so you can be comfortable. Am I wrong? No, I'm not. So I brought this flat thinking that my life was going to be okay. Like, I just don't understand how I buy a flat and it hurts. Like, that's not the point of flat. And last but not least, <laughs> but y'all see this shoe. I hope I don't lose it by respect because this shoe right here. There, there was a trend where the high heels had no heels. Y'all remember that? So I went out and I brought me one of those. Now, let me tell you one thing about these shoes. Some of them are popping. Like, they nice. They, I, I'm like, oh, those are, those are nice. I will never, ever, ever buy another hillless hill don't judge me y'all y'all gotta be y'all gotta support me y'all y'all my shoe lover fam so y'all gotta support me all right don't judge me please i'm being i'm opening up to y'all do not judge me only episode two i'm in one though all right Guys, what was I thinking? Like, now I wore these once and got mad props. Oh, those are nice. Where you get those from? Da, da, da. Like, people was feeling it. Then I, I looked at it and I was like, what? Why did you do that? Okay. One thing I can say, this is actually very comfortable. I will not lie. These were actually very comfortable. Um, no problem walking in them because these are actually easy to easy to walk in. Like surprisingly, very easy to walk in. No problem. I did not fall. Nothing. Didn't walk slow. Did I run? No. Why I still have them? I, listen, if y'all want these, hit me up. I will give them to you. Like size 10. I will give these to you. If you want them, let me know because I don't want them. But anyway... I actually got these from a store in the mall, the Lehigh Valley Mall, um, like a couple of years ago. I got them for $20 and I was hyped when I got them, like, hype. Like, I look at these now and I question everything I know. This part is um, two and a half inches and this part is seven and a half inches. So it's, it's, it is definitely pretty tall. The reason why I made the mistake is because of all these metal things, like all these studs and little buttons and whatever they're called, like, and on top of that, this was the shortest shoe trend ever. Like this trend, I think it lasted for like not even a year. Like I think after I brought these and I wore them, I don't think I've ever seen, I saw a girl wear it last year and I was like, wow, why are you wearing those? We're done, we're over that. Like obviously she wasn't, which is fine. You know, you do your thing girl. But now if you like them, I promise you, I will give these to you. Like please, I promise. If you like any of the shoes, that I showed you today. I will give them to you. I will put a link down in the description box for these or any of the shoes that I can find. Um, like I said, if you want any of them from me, please like let me know. Like especially this last shoe, if you want it. 
I love y'all already. Thank you for tuning into this episode. Listen, remember, keep those hills high and keep rocking that runway. And I will see y'all in part two on Sunday.